Hey everybody, I got my Print and Z uh, or Zebra Print uh, print bed that I'm actually really looking forward to installing. Uh, I'm installing it on my BQ Whip box here, and um, and Wayne from Print and Z actually gave me some instructions on how to install this onto the Whip box. So I figured I'd just make a quick video here for you guys. Uh, so the first thing that you want to do is turn off the printer. Uh, or actually, before you turn it off, try to lower the print bed if you can. Um, and then you want to lay it on its back, unplug everything, lay it on its back, open it up, and then you want to use the tools it came with to remove the actual print bed level here from it. Try not to move it so that you can really align it to the bearings that are down below. Um, and then what you're going to do is on your uh, print bed, or actually I should say, Wayne's going to send you a file, or I can send you the file, or maybe I'll post it up on Thingiverse for what's easier. Uh, you have this little Z stopper here that you're going to want to print. And I was trying to figure out where the heck this thing goes. And it actually goes on the back here. So here is the print bed. And then here at the bottom is this little piece that tells it where to stop. So now it's got enough space here. Sorry, it's got enough space here. You're going to slide it on. And then you can reinstall it and then put the print bed on, re-level, and you should hopefully be all set to go. So here, I'm going to give this a shot and we will see. All right, so I have the plate installed. It was pretty easy enough to get this back on in place. Uh, the little Z-stop that I installed did stop the extruder from uh, hitting the new bed. I just re-leveled the bed. Uh, I've attached some binder clips here that I picked up from Target, and I'm gonna give this a test print. It seems like it's on here pretty solid. Uh, I might end up sticking some on the back as well. Make sure if you do this, not to st I'm sticking mine over on the far edge here in the front so it doesn't hit it when I'm doing my uh, leveling and in the back make sure it's not if you put it in the back that's not only on the far right because that's where the extruder rests so let's get a quick calibration cube going and see how this goes <clears throat> This is going to be awesome if this works, which I have faith that it will based on all of the reviews. So this means no more tape, no more hairspray, uh, and easy to get off. And then if anything, based on how many prints I will be doing, I will might need to buy at least one a year, maybe two a year. <laughs> will totally be worth it with, in, just in terms of saving time and headache. Looks like that first that first layer went down perfectly good. Looks like it's sticking as far as I can tell here. I'm gonna let this go and then we'll check back on it as it's done. Alright, so my cube finished. Take it off. <clears throat> Come over here. Pop it right off. Uh, I'll have to do a little bit of a flatter piece and see how it is getting it off compared to before, but so far I am really, really liking this. Uh, again, uh, no no tape, no hairspray required. Uh, just essentially re-leveled my bed and um, set this up and it's now printing directly on this, this board here. You also can actually flex these a bit, so if you wanted to pop kind of pop them off you're able to flex the board a bit and then get your spatula knife under them uh should be able to use a whole bunch of prints up with this one board uh it's not like i'm printing every day every hour every day um so and it's and again it's just like on the glass it's nice and smooth and man i'm sorry i need to clip my fingernails <laughs> um nice and smooth on the bottom where it printed sort of glass glass ish just like when it wasn't printing on the glass so I'm gonna now try a bigger print. All right, here's another quick look. So I went and actually found the BQ logo on the Thingiverse for the Wit box here. So I figured this would be a nice, slightly larger flat print that I could do as another test run for the Z plate. So again, I just have some brackets holding it down and I'm just going to come in and see if I can get it off the plate. There we go. 
So no damage to the plate and it's stuck really good and it's nice and smooth on the back just like it was when it was with the glass plate. This is pretty darn nice. <laughs> Uh, I will definitely be trying my next prints, actually probably all of my prints, using this from now on. Uh, so check it out. I'll include a link down below where you can order it. I believe this was 54 bucks shipped for the plate. Uh, there's a black side and a white side, so all depending, like I've got white filament here. I'm probably not going to want to print it on the white side since it's not going to record very well. Uh, so check it out. It's pretty cool, and it shipped, I think, in like two days with um how they shipped it out to me so pretty cool uh all right hey thanks again for watching you guys and i will see you next week bye now